storm. So that surely was a gnarly storm, but I'm up now, I'm out filming in the rain, and I want to talk about pest management in the garden, because the rain's a great time for the insects to come out, the birds to come out, and do what they need to do to actually protect the garden. Now the first thing that I recommend when starting out is find ways for the birds and insects to create habitat for them to hang out build it up slowly over time and that way you'll have less and less pests. Now you can do that by planting small shrubs and small trees around the garden with verges and things so the birds can fly in and feel safe and when they hunt they can fly down, grab a little insect, fly back up in the tree and feel like they're secure themselves. Also, you know, planting companions such as flowers and herbs and all that type of stuff, that will bring in other insects as well to pollinate your plants and the predators will come in as well. They'll clean up a few of the bad insects and at the same time, you've got your own natural system going on. Try and avoid uh, planting too much monoculture stuff because if you plant too many of one plant, you're inviting pests to come in. If they uh, feed on one plant and they breed up, they'll move to the next quite quickly and before you know it, you've lost all those crops. Now, one of my biggest problems here is the cabbage moth and we've got to solve that problem by actually getting the birds in and different things and predators. Now, one thing that loves to eat cabbage moth is Karen's friend, Lewis. Warning, some people might find this next scene disturbing. Now also frogs, they love to come in the garden. If you've got spots for them around, little ponds and things, little areas where they can hide out. Green tree frogs, little brown frogs that live in the garden. They'll clean up a lot of the pests as well. What do you got there, Karen? A yellow bellied green tree frog. And you found him when you were doing what? I'm looking for bugs for Lewis. Oh, awesome. And so you just caught him to have a look to find out what type of frog he was to see why he's in the garden, right? Yeah. And now we found out that uh, they live, uh, they're nocturnal, so they live at night time. And they live for, uh, for about 16 years. They live for 16 years, and that is just amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. So let's go let him go, eh? Sure. Exactly where we found him. Yes, we are. Down near the fringe of Panny Tree. He doesn't really want to come out just yet. Oh, he just is completely confused.